Turning now to a surprising development at our border with Mexico. The U.S. Homeland Security Secretary reports border encounters are down by 50 percent. That decrease comes just four days after the pandemic era health policy allowing the U.S. to deport most migrants expired. Now, buses carrying migrants are arriving from border states to Democrat-led cities across the country. ABC's Justin Finch reports. In the nation's capital, dozens of migrants arrived outside the vice president's residence Sunday night. And in New York City, three migrant buses arrived over the weekend. And a Manhattan hotel is being converted into an emergency migrant shelter. New York Mayor Eric Adams says his city is overwhelmed and plans to bus more migrants to suburbs. As U.S. cities struggle to support arriving migrants, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas is reporting a major downturn in migrant crossings at the U.S.-Mexico border. Over the past two days, the United States Border Patrol has seen an approximately 50 percent drop in the number of people encountered at our southern border. That drop comes just days after Title 42, the pandemic era health policy that allowed the U.S. to deport most migrants expired last week. President Biden responding. My hope is they'll continue to go down where we have more, a lot more work to do. Mallorca says the U.S.'s stricter asylum-seeking policies are making an impact. The new rules call for non-Mexican migrants seeking asylum to first show proof they've been denied protection from a country they passed through on their way to the U.S. border. They're also required to use a federal app to make an appointment, though many migrants say it's been difficult to do so due to glitches and a lack of cell service. Breaking these rules could mean deportation plus a five-year ban on entering the U.S. And the ACLU is now suing the Biden administration, likening its new border policies to the Trump administration and calling asylum bans cruel and illegal. Secretary Mayorkas firing back, insisting those Biden era policies are not an asylum ban. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.